go for a ride. Let me put my seatbelt on first. Safety first, baby. start i want to give a shout out to all my subscribers that's been following me and rocking with me for those who have not subscribed you need to hit that subscription button and that notification button so when i drop something new you can get it but today we're going to be doing a review on a gt charger four wheel drive baby four wheel drive gt charger you know i drive a 392 but this is a gt and uh shout out to r&b for allowing me to do this uh car review and let's get on to it. Let's see what it's talking about. Let's check this ride out. Let's go. First off, we're going to go ahead and start out with the, the lights. You know I like to start out with the lights. Got that Dodge right there. Yeah, you liked it. I wish they would have made it more so you can see it. You can't even see that. But it's still tight. These LEDs. I'm going to let y'all see them a little later. Then they got these nice fog lights. I like these, man. Look at that. Bam, bam, bam. Nice big ones. I wish my... uh. 392 had those but it don't and i definitely wish my magnum had it they ain't got none i like this but i i like all this because it's open see how this is open it ain't oh shit look fake we don't want none of that fake stuff we got the young classic dodge emblem with the two slashes dodge brothers i like the grill not like my grill but i like it it's nice and split it's open so the car can breathe and we got that down there we got the little splitter down there I like how they got the hood set up with the fine lines on the hood, make it look real sporty. So when that air hit it, it just flows over there, over it. Work our way to the other side, to the side of this bad boy. Marker lights. I wish they would make the marker lights a little darker, man. These bad boys light, too light. But hey, who cares? They got the GT sign that let you know this is a GT. People care about that. When they people people care about that. They want people to know they got a GT. Then we got these. I'm pretty sure these is these they look like 20s, but they probably not. They 19s. These are 19 inch. 19 inch rims. I like them because they accentuate the color. Bam, they're working with the color. And you know you gotta love that little dodge of them in the middle. Come on now. We got the nice big uh, brakes. These, these four piston, yeah, these four piston brakes right here. Nice big boys so you can stop this when it's rolling, you know. Stop, stop it. Mirrors regular, it's regular mirrors, but they heat it. Heated regular mirrors. We got the keyless entry. Walk up to it. Get on in there, baby. And if you want to lock it, you can hit this little button right here. Zoom in on it. You can hit that little button right there. Come on back here. You know you gotta like the lines. Look, so check these lines out. This stuff matters. You know, check these lines out because this all this gonna matter when you get the car. You gonna want your car to look good. And Dodge has got it looking real good. It's a family stand. Got your spoiler back here. I'm loving it. I'm loving the spoiler. Wish it was black, but we'll take the same color of the car. We'll take that. We definitely will. Going back here with the lights. Who don't love? Dodge got the best lights in the game. Nobody's close to Dodge with the lights. Not this in any other company, but they need to catch up to Dodge when it comes to the lights. These real lights are nice. We got the charger sign right there. That that's four over the Dodge. What does that mean, T Light? It means it's four wheel drive. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. Four wheel drive. All wheel drive. That kicks in when it's, it, it'll kick in. We got the backup camera right here. So when you're backing up, you don't mess nobody's car up or your car. Go down here. This is this is dual exhaust on these cars. I'm gonna park that anyway. These are dual exhaust. These are just like little shells. The pipe is really in here if you look closely. You can see the exhaust. I hate that. I really, that. <laughs> you get a fart for that. Well, they could have did better than that. You know, the diffuser, the diffuser, I like the diffuser, but it could be a little more sporty too. That's, these are little sensors. Everybody always wonder, what are these little things right here? These are sensors. When you're backing up the car, this is what lets you know you're about to hit something. These little dots right here. There's four of them back there. And you got the dot sign right here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Got a marker light on the side back here, just in case y'all didn't notice that. It's got a marker sign on the side. This is your uh, gas tank. 
You can't get in it by pushing it. You gotta be in the car to open it. Well, I'll open it just to let you see. Somebody probably like, open it, T-Light. I opened it, see? I opened it for you. Let me do it again. See that? There you go, whoever wanted to see that. Since we back here, we are gonna go ahead and uh, look at the trunk. Bam. You just hit it and it raise up for you. You ain't even gotta, you know, you ain't even gotta lift it up. See the button right there? You can't even see it because they got it so concealed. Two thumbs up, Dodge, for doing that. Bam, we got the, we got the trunk space. Uh, y'all want me to climb in there and see what it's like? Let me go ahead and climb in there and climb in there so y'all can see what it's like. Oh man, it's kind of tight in here. It's kind of tight in here. See, <laughs> I'm in here. You know, I'm in here. You know, if you was watching a movie, you want the bag up, you can be like this. It ain't gonna be too comfortable, but you're gonna be back here relaxing. If you want to. <laughs> Maybe the people want to see me shut you in the truck. Yeah, shut me in there. I'll pop it out. I got the thing right here. I can pop it out. Go ahead and shut me in here. <laughs> Let's leave him in there. Ah! Okay. You see that? That's for people that, if, if anybody ever kidnapped you, you can get out of there. And <laughs> climb on up out of here. That's a good safety tip to know. Yeah, that's a good safety tip That could have saved somebody. Yeah, that could save somebody. Come on back, we got these little lights right here, so if it's dark outside, bam, you got these lights. Two thumbs up, Dodge, you did a good job on that. Bam, let's go ahead and lift up on here. It's got a little hook right here, you see? Gotta get that hook. They gave them a spare tire. I got a 392 Daytona. They didn't give me no spare tire. That's good. You want to have a spare tire. Don't that that uh fix a flat crap. You got the battery back here for those who don't know about Dodge. The battery is always back in the back. That kind of sucks because if you want to jump somebody and you got some teeny cables, you're gonna be in for some trouble. But uh, that's the trunk. Uh, don't forget we got the shark fin aka the radio not to cut through wind like I always say it's a radio antenna yeah this one's got a sunroof you probably can't really see it because it's really blending in with the car which is excellent you don't really want to see that mess and uh we about to go ahead and go inside we inside this bad boy we back well there ain't a lot of tech it's technology in here but they don't really put a lot of like a lot a lot into it they make it real simple for you but it's a lot of technology you just can't really tell there's a lot of technology first off you got your cruise control on the steering wheel on this side it's the cruise control now if you get a bigger model these little buttons will have something on them but this ain't the big boy so these little buttons will have a bigger something to do but then you got your little pedal shifters if you want to get speedy this will control your little uh infotainment cluster as you can see, I'm moving it up. It's changing all. Everything's changing. Just to let y'all know. We know what this is. The RPMs is telling, it's telling you what it is. Miles per hour. The rest of it goes on the cluster. Then we got, if you want to answer the phone call, hit that. You want to hang up? Want to be on speaker? Mm, there you go. You got your light things over here. All your little lights. Everything right here, that's your lights. That controls inside. That's the pop to the trunk. And, uh... That's your emergency parking brake right there. If you see by those nice vapes. Vapor Maxes, that's what I got. But yeah, and that's just regular stuff over there. You got your gear shifter. Wish they could have did a little more on it, but it's nice. This is all, if you want to go in sports mode, you can hit this button right here. It ain't gonna really tell you, but because I ain't got the car on. But if you hit this button, it'll go, it'll pop up right there. I can turn it on, but I'll do that later. This is your infotainment system. You got to go. There goes your app. You connect is what they use. You connect. You connect is what they use. And look, it's real. See how sensitive it is? It's just like you got an iPad. Bam. You control everything from here. You got the climate control right there. Control your seats. Heated seats. These, this got heated seats. Even though it's cloth, it's got heated seats. Phone navigation, all that. You know what it is. And, uh, bam. I'm going to keep some Doritos, some chips, maybe a little some a snickers if you ever get hungry you can get a snickers in there right there you can uh for your charger ports and if you're on an auxiliary to hook up to your radio i do not know why you would do that in this time and age you should not be using the aux but yeah you got your fake carbon fiberish type of stuff it's fake looking but it still looks good so we're gonna give dollars two thumbs up for that because it still looks good ah this is nice i wish they didn't have this little bumpy like 
rhino skin on here, but it's still nice. And you got the charger decal right there. You got the Dodge decal on the on the steering wheel, which I don't know why they just put charger there too, but it is what it is. Got your cool little vents. And uh, here, here, your sunroof controls are right here. Hit that, open it on up. I wish it was a bigger sunroof, but it is what it is. It's still a nice sunroof. Shed it on up, garage openers for your shades. You got your cup holders. You can slide this if you don't want to see those cup holders. And then you got cup holders on the sides. And then you got your nice big speakers. And uh, that's it for the front. That's pretty much it for the front. And your little cloth seats. It's nice though. Even though they cloth, they still nice seats. You know, they not like just thrown in there just looking all regular. At least they put some design to it. So yeah, that's the front. Let's head to the bag. Bang. The most nice spacious is a son of a gun back here. Y'all wanna see me lay down in here too? See if I can go to sleep. Uh, it's inside the car, you know, you got it's gonna be uncomfortable, but you can go to sleep in here if you want to. Yeah. Get you a nice little cover and get knocked out, you know. You might have to sleep at your job. It might be turning your car off or I had to do that before. Right here, you can put your some nice little phone holders, folders, whatever you want to call it. You got your little uh, folder holders. Right there, this is your vents. Then you can put your phone charge right there for two people. Unless you got a supercharger, you can turn it to a four or five. Surprise! You got cup holders right here too. Look at that. So you can fit five people back here, but guess what? If you got five, I mean, not five, I said five people, three people. Fit three people back here. But if you got three people back here, guess what? You can't use these. You can't use this. You gotta just use those on the side. Cause they got cup holders on the side here too. So bam, look at that. And they paid a little attention to the doors too, if you look at it. Look at that, they got white stitching or gray stitching. They paid a little attention, they put a little money into it. So that look good. And guess what? This right here. Oh, go faster, go faster, go faster. You know, that's what that's for. Not really, it's really for the hang up clothes and stuff. But you know, we know what it's for. Mexico time. Well, that's the end of the back seat. I'm about to take you for a ride in this bad boy. And I'm going to see you later. Motor out. Power plant. The heart. Look at that. Remember what I said? You ain't even got to hold this. Some cars, they make you hold it. Look. That's what you want. Especially if you're a mechanic. You ain't trying to be dealing with that thing all in your way. But what we got here is uh, under this trash can lid, under this trash can lid is a V6, 3.6 liter, V6. 300 and 300 horsepower, I believe, 305, something like that. About 300 horsepower, don't care about the torque. You can figure that out on the internet. Got your air box, engine, fuse box, windshield wiper fluid, fluid, fluids, belt, all that good stuff. Ain't really nothing to really talk about. This right here though, we can't talk about this. This right here, if you want to plug it, if it's cold outside, you can plug this, plug your car up inside. So it won't freeze. You, your motor start up in the winter time. Get out of the day. That's impressive, right? They didn't have to put that on there, but they did. You better give Dodge two thumbs up for that. Because you, you might not get that on another car. Go ahead and set that. Bam! Before we do that, I'm going to give y'all a little rev so y'all can hear it. See what it's talking about. Rev it on up for y'all. And y'all can see those lights too when I turn it on. All that good stuff. Safety first, baby. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. Ain't nothing but a teaspoon of gas in here, so we really don't want to be doing too many pulls. But yeah, the, the ride is always excellent. I got, a, I got a 392, so the ride is to me is excellent. I don't know about what it will be to you, but to me it's excellent. The seats are extra comfortable. The infotainment system is right in front of you. 
you look how effortless this is. You just right, right there. See how my hand is moving smoothly? Steering wheel is always nice. The steering is a little less, it's not as tight as my car is because this is not a 392, this is a GT. Oh, but it's still nice, it's comfortable. This this seat is a, it's a mechanical seat, I mean, but I don't know if that's mechanical right there. Is it mechanical? Nope. That's manual, that's a manual seat, but hey, it's still nice. You know, give y'all a little pull, the steering is excellent. The ride is excellent, you don't, the bumps, you feel them, but you don't feel them. It ain't like it's super disgusting. Let me give a little. Let me give y'all a little quick little pull. See what this this can do. That was that was impressive. That was nice. Not not super fast, but fast fast enough. Fast enough to have fun. Cause we we trying to have fun. You don't want to just buy you a car and can't have fun. You can have fun in this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. I can throw it in the sport mode. Let's see what I, what happened when I throw it in the sport mode. It says sport, as you can see. It's got the little flag right there, the little green flag. Let's see what it's doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sport mode. It makes the shift. It takes. It doesn't shift as. It stays in gear longer, so you really can move. So, yeah, this, this is nice. You can have some fun in this. You definitely can have some fun in this. This is better than driving in, the, in your granny's old station wagon. Even though grandma had a station wagon, it still was nice, but she it, it couldn't do this. But this is nice. I feel cool too driving this too. You know, see how you see how I got my hand on the steering wheel. I feel cool. I like how they got the gear shifter right there so I can just relax, put my hand on that, the hand rest, and it just falls right onto the gear shifter. I'm feeling a little fake carbon fiber too. That's nice. I like how they did that, put the little fake carbon fiber on there. It's nice how you can see right out. It's, it's so, the car is so big. I know why people call the car a boat because it's so big, but you can see everything. You see every, see how you can just see everything? And that's nice. You know, it ain't a lot of blind spots on this car. So you pretty much, you ain't got to worry about not seeing somebody as you're driving. And I like that. It is a big car. It's definitely a big car. But it's also, a, it's, this is also a sporty car. Pre pretty nimble. Nice, nice and nimble. Family car. A family car. This is a family car with, 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 with style. With style, exactly. Like Christine said, family car with style. You can't beat that. For the price, you definitely can't beat that. If you want to get this type of performance on any other type of family car, Mercedes and all that stuff, you're going to pay a lot more money for pretty much the same type of performance. So, but to each his own. But to, from my point of view, this is a great car. It's got its little things that I don't like. But other than that, it ain't got enough. It's, it's not enough on this car for me to say, nah, don't get this car. I like the car. Hell, hell I own one. I got a 392. So I'm always going to be somewhat biased but I'm always gonna give you the truth too I would tell you not to get it if I thought it was trash but this car is definitely not trash no way near it very comfortable I'm hitting bumps right now they ain't, they don't feel bad do they feel bad Christine oh, this one. and she gonna tell you she very very picky about her cars getting this turning lane That's my turn. Yeah, yeah. Put a little pull on it. Mm-hmm. Look at that. It got up quick, too. Pew! Had that, had that speedy Gonzalez speed. Mm, pew! But yeah. I'm gonna head on back, though. So we're gonna head on back, get it on back to R&B. Definitely a good car to drive in, right? 
if you, it's, it's different trim levels too you don't just got to get a gt but this is a gt but it's other trim levels you can talk to your salesperson about that but definitely if you get a chance you should get, go ahead buy, buy you one of these so pull on into r b shout out to them for allowing me to do this car review on this beautiful charger gt lovely car 2019 charger gt so if somebody wants to buy this car you would probably you would call if you're in the michiana area you call r b car company and let them know that you're interested in this charger gt you can get in contact with brandon or any other other salesperson jordan and there's a few other ones and they'll definitely help you out and uh they definitely would make do whatever they can to get you in this vehicle so give them a call and like i said i appreciate them for allowing me to do this and i'm gonna see y'all in a second we had a wonderful ride in that charger gt i appreciate y'all joining me on this little car review shout out to rmb car company for allowing me to do this car review their number will be in the link in the description it'll be in the link in the description phone number will be down at the bottom and uh also you click on that website i had that in the description that take you straight to the car you can, if you want this car or any of these other cars out here they got quite a few cars and they got quite a few other this is, this is just not the only spot that they got they got other places too and they definitely can find you the car that you want again that was a, today that was a charger gt definitely had a good ride in it wonderful car if you like that car go get you one but i'm gonna leave you with something positive before i go always stay positive stay away from negative people Always strive to be the best that you can be and don't listen to nobody when they tell you what you can't do. And with that being said, it's your boy, t -Lay -Lay -Lay. Oh yeah, I'm out this piece. Jitty. <laughs> that you never